What up, you screamy binguses? We're on the final few days of the Sienna Plus 2.0, and you know it's 2.0 because there's a second seal right on the Tukas. Like I said, I didn't lie about it. I think we're at the little less than 50 mark, and if we make it, as promised, I will draw the, the Sienna with the plush, as promised, as I usually do with all of these. And uh, yeah, yeah, it'll be great, because you'll have one of these, and I don't know if I'll ever do this again. Unless makeshift tells me otherwise, because that seems to be the thing. I look like a freaking hypocrite. Anytime I say, this is the only time we're doing it, and I end up doing it, and... Uh, human, what are you and your friends doing? Oh, we're playing something called Dungeons & Dragons. What is it specifically about? It's about a bunch of people making their own characters according to a set rules and mechanics to have players roleplay and explore an imaginary world of fantasy. You wanna join? I don't see why not. Where do I begin? One hour later. Alright, finally my turn. I would like to cast Firebolt on the goblins in the back in case of archers. Wouldn't it be better to use Fireball to clear out more of them? I'm saving that in the event we get swarmed by more of them. Five goblins shouldn't be wasted for a single Fireball. I love it when things go right. Anyways, roll for accuracy. Why was that one an it? Were, were they an android? Oh no, it's like a preference, like Davy and Joey. You know, one is a she, the other is a he, even if that seems flopped. But they seem off, like synthetic. They got the tism, cacao. Ah, that explains the best friend status. Oh! I do believe this isn't the part where I say, LOL, got them. Human, how did your species know about F0? Human? You're telling me that what I can describe as a speedster's dream is real? It, yes. Built a jet hover car. Wait, how did you know about this sport? Shows a cartridge of the game F-Zero for the SNES. Your species is a weird bunch. I know, shut up. Logan, what is happening in the night sky? Huh? Oh, you mean the Aurora Borealis. We just call them the Northern Lights. The what now? The Northern Lights. Typically, you can see them in far northern places around here on Earth. I don't really know if the Antarctic parts of the planet get it when it's the same time of the year south of the equator, but then again, you never know. Uh, uh, what? You, Logan, you humans have a very weird and strange way of explaining things. I know, but then again, I have a mental disability which makes me different from others with their minds and how to either process or maintain things within the normal human body. Can we go see it? Sure, but it'll be a bit of a drive to get more outside of the city. Honestly, it's pretty rare to see it in a big city like this. After a 30-minute drive outside of the city. So, this is one of your seven wonders of the world. Yep. As far as I can tell, Canada is the biggest place across North America where you can see it. It also sometimes goes down into the American mainland, but it also depends on the situations and how rural it is. American what now? It's weird earthling shenanigans that we do. It's also the reason why our planet isn't united. You humans are really weird creatures. Tell me about it. Human John, what is that music that human Ian listens to when he's working out? Ah, uh, that'd be funk music. Funk? Is that one of your slang words I'm unaware of? No, 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 no. Funk is a subgenre of hip hop music that combines samples from 90s rap tapes and trap music to make the music that you can feel. Music you can feel? What do you mean by that? Here, let me play a few tracks for you. 10 minutes later. Whoa. So, what you think? I feel like I can fight a whole swarm of space crabs. So, do you have any fictional characters that look a bit like Earth species? Well, this tardigrade vaguely resembles a mascot from back home called Murphy the McCrath. Oh? Yes, he was a popular character among younglings drawn in a style that would be considered, uh, how do you say it, kawaii by Earth standards? There were cuddly toys and figurines made of him and even jewelry decorated with his likeness. So... You're telling me space Hello Kitty. What? Human, I've been doing some research about disabilities, and I found something called Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, the commonly known as ADHD. Well, what, what is that exactly? Ooh, it's a neurological disability that can impair brain activity and hinder a person's life to some degree. I have it. And how exactly does it hinder you? Oh, it causes me to have trouble focusing on tasks and things like that. I can also get hyper-focused on stuff that really interests me. And what interests you? <laughs> That's a rabbit hole you don't want to go down. Is that so? Trust me, the amount of stuff I like is real 
really long. I'm sure it's not that bad. One hour rant later. Holy hell, that's a lot. And that's not even half of it. Not even... How many things are you interested in? Too many. Oh, and don't get me started on autism, which is another neurological disability that I have. It just... Becomes a chatterbox about neurological disabilities. This human is strange. Oh, hey, is that Nosferatu? Oh, um, I will throttle you if you tell me Count Orlock is an actual alien species. I was going to say that's a human we experimented on many cycles ago. That is arguably worse! Human, what are you doing? Oh, it's called origami. I'm basically folding a sheet of paper and turning it into decorative shapes and figures. Fascinating. Another form of artistic expression. May I see what figure you're making right now? Sure. In fact, I was just about to finish when you showed up. Here you go. Human, is, is that me? Yep. It, it took me quite a bit to figure out how to get your figure just right, but eventually I managed to... You okay there, buddy? I'm currently experiencing what you humans call tears of joy. Human Zach, you mentioned something about having a peanut allergy, correct? Yeah, why? Nothing. Just neat how another species can have the same afflictions we do. Wait, really? Yes. In fact, Muzak's skin catches fire if he touches anything with pork in it. Holy shit, our allergies don't get that extreme. Uh, oh. Human, how does your species know about the Ghanians? <sighs> what species from media are you talking about now? Points to Garn 47 from Hit Game. Garn 47. <clears throat> how? Why does this keep happening? 